Travelers at Singapore's checkpoints are advised against the public display and wearing of items related to the israel hamas conflict, the Immigration and Checkpoints Authority ICA said on Wednesday, November 15. In its year-end travel advisory, ICA also said heavy traffic is expected at the two land checkpoints at Woodlands and Tours during the school holiday period from November 16 to January 2. Travellers who are clearing immigration by car may have to wait up to three hours before they are cleared through immigration during peak periods, said ICA. The agency reiterated that it has stepped up security measures at the checkpoints in view of the developing situation in the Middle East. And this may add to waiting times. All travellers using our checkpoints are also advised against the public display and wearing of articles in relation to the israel hamas conflict. Given the heightened sensitivities, ICA added. The Ministry of Home Affairs had earlier said that, unless expressly exempted, the public display of foreign national emblems without a permit is an offence under the Foreign National Slash Emblems Control of Display Act 1949. The offence is punishable with a jail term of up to six months, a fine of up to 500 Singapore dollars, 370 US dollars, or both. ICA noted that during the recent Deeper Valley long weekend from November 10 to 13, there was continuous heavy traffic at the land checkpoints at the border with Malaysia, with more than 1.53 million crossings. This exceeds the traveller volume cleared during the Labour Day and Vesak Day long weekends this year. It added. ICA advised motorists to check the traffic situation at the checkpoints before starting their journeys. They can do so via the Land Transport Authorities, one motoring we cite, or the Expressway Monitoring Advisory System installed along the Bukit Timer Expressway BKE and the Air Roger Expressway AYE. They can also get updated through ICA's Facebook and Twitter accounts. Motorists should refrain from queue cutting as it can cause severe congestion and compromise the safety of other motorists. The agency said. Errant motorists caught queue cutting will be turned away and made to requeue, it warned. Travellers should ensure their passport has a remaining validity of at least six months. Singapore permanent residents who have renewed their passport will have to transfer their re-entry permit to the new passport. Long-term pass holders need to notify ICA or the Ministry of Manpower of Changes in their passport details before entering Singapore.